Oh my god! <laughs> Temple of the Monkey God Undoubtedly, the strongest tower in Bloons Tower Defense 5. The temple demands sacrifices. Its arsenal of unstoppable balloon destruction is enhanced and modified by the types of towers sacrificed. There are five power levels, or breaks, for the Monkey Temple. Here, we'll focus mainly on money spent. On levels 3, 4 and 5. And what better way to test them is in a face-off. Temple against Temple. So the temple on the top lane is level 3, with between 4 and 10k spend on each sacrifice. And the bottom temple is maxed with 30k plus spend. One thing's for sure, that it can be difficult to tell just how powerful they are. In Sandbox, the Zomeg's health doesn't increase in comparison to a regular game. So they'll be at the squishy end of the scale. If we compare each lane, balloons are reaching the level 3 temple, while the max temple keeps them under control near the halfway mark. These dual lane maps are pretty cool for testing towers. Hold the P key down, and 50 Zomegs are evenly distributed. So yeah, we can visually compare in real time. Okay, let's test a level 4 temple between 10k and 30k spend on each sacrifice type and we'll keep our level 5 max temple. These should be a bit closer, on power. But, if we count the BFEs on screen at any one time, the top lane has around 26 to 27, while the bottom has around 14 to 15. You can get a handle on the amount of BFEs by the propellers on the side. Okay, let's step it up a notch and test our level 4 and 5 temples on Z Factor. The close lanes will mean all of the blimps will be together, compared to Jungle's two separated tracks. We'll kick it off with our max temple, and see how 30k of bombs, 30k blades, 30k ice, 30k of glue, and 30k of tornadoes go. My god, that map architecture shows the blimps in their glory until half the map is covered in green and black. Apart from a handful of low-level balloons getting through, a sandbox max temple can obliterate any amount of zone my god. Next it'll be sacrificing 10k each of the 5 tower types. We don't need to be exact for sandbox. As long as we're in the price break, to invoke a level 4 temple, then it's all good. It's time for some temple trivia. There's a few towers that can't be sacrificed by the temple. The most commonly known is the Wizard Lord or Monkey Town, in their respective special missions. Another, that may survive a sacrifice, if done right, is the Pontoon Special Agent, which can give the temple the ability to be placed on water. If a pontoon is placed down, and the temple is built on it before the round starts, or even another tower, then the pontoon can survive the sacrifice, making it possible to fill a water map like Bengala with temples. Although, once the pontoon is built and the round has passed, building a temple usually collapses the pontoon and others in its radius. But it can be glitchy. They can occasionally survive a sacrificial ceremony, rounds later. Back to our 10k temple. And again, this little guy is rocking the zone, my god. My god, these temples are freaking op. We'll have to downgrade them, so they're under stress. Instead of sacrificing 5 tower types, we'll reduce it to 2 bombs and blades, and try a dual lane map. But this time, it'll be U-Turn. The 30k sacrificed temple will be going top lane, while our 10k temple is going bot. So is it really necessary to spend 30k to max a sacrifice? After all, it's triple the price. Well, it depends. Is it to achieve a highest round, or simply the income available? 
or something different. It could be reducing lag, such as the two temples here. The top temple is now reasonably priced, but also retains good popping power. We're starting to see a difference now. Blimps are pushing split lane through our defense. But once the dust settles, Moabs are getting past the bottom lane, while the 30k temple is cleaning up top, plus the leaking Moabs. All in all, the 30k temple is stronger, but generally, temples here are ridiculously overpowered. And this is without lab research or premiums. Let's do one more test. With everything turned on, so extra popping power, attack speed, and big balloon sabotage, using our vengeful ability from the monkey lair, overclock ability from the engineer, and call two arms from our MIB. Well, I'll be a monkey's uncle. Here comes the almighty saturated pack of so my god. And in defense is our one humble, maxed out, temple of the monkey god. Yeah. Oh my god. You gotta love that dark secret ability. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, 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 yes. Oh my god. <laughs>